This wasn't a contribution or an original thought, really. It's on its way. It's, 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 um, sparking something, but, uh, when I was nine, my, the thing that I want to mention here is that I had this realization about how the school system really worked when I was nine. Like, it's the realization that everyone has eventually. Um, I remember like the websites that we would use to take quizzes on the computers like they were not the school websites. They were these other companies that were making quizzes and stuff. And so I'd go on these companies' websites, I'd steal the identity of a teacher, make a teacher account. Um, and I, the, re the way I learned to do that was by actually, I really loved brain pop videos. And if you wanted to get all this stuff for free, you needed a teacher account. So I like did hella research on how to impersonate teachers basically. And I used this same strategy to go to these company websites and find the same test that everyone else is taking. And not only that, even like the paper and homework stuff, like I would check the watermarks on the bottom of the pages, like the copyright info and stuff, and one Google search is all it takes. Just Google foo and boom. Educational content made 50 years ago, still being used in classrooms today all across the United States. And I noticed that like, despite being gifted in math, I I, can't, I will flex this. Like, I'm really, really good in math. I have this, this mathematical intuition that lets me understand numbers in a different way. And, and because of that, all it takes is, like, a little bit of explanation. Or not even explanation, just a little bit of, like, introducing me to the subject. Maybe you can even teach somebody else and I can observe. Or, or just walk yourself through the problems and I can observe that. And... That's all it really takes for me to do an entire subject mentally. This stopped working all that well in high school. Um, calc and stuff like that is a, it's a lot more difficult to understand intuitively with a little bit of explanation. But everything from sophomore year of high school and below was effortless, effortless for me. And this worked up until the point where I had gotten good enough at cheating to basically cheat the rest of my way through my entire schooling career, even up to college. I remember um, I remember in physics, people knew I was smart in physics, and they would tell me like, hey, yo, bro, we got a test in physics next period. Help me with this. How do I do this problem? Can you explain it to me so that I know what to do on a test? And I couldn't explain it. Like, I wouldn't use the formulas. I would explain it, but they wouldn't understand. I would just like logic my way around things. I explained it the best I could. I explained it how I was doing it in my head. And they were like, my mind doesn't work like that. I can't do that. I don't need any of these formulas, at least the simple ones. I can just take all the variables, put them in my own head, and logic them around to get me an answer that makes sense. I talked about this in my um, stream about school. Like, that's what I would do in, in um, pre-AP physics and stuff like that in... in uh, in high school, I should have taken AP. And no, I shouldn't have taken AP. If I took AP, I wouldn't have been in max class. But, or no, it wasn't, it was like spire physics. But yeah, it was a weird, weird system the school had to try to make people seem like they were in smarter classes than they actually were, trying to make you feel good. But yeah, for me, the whole, um, the whole logic thing whether it be programming logic or, um, or physical, physics logic, whatever it is, it's very easy for me to wrap my head around that sort of thing. All the, all, like, I never actually bothered to learn any of oh, Newton's formulas. I never bothered to learn elasticity. I didn't need to. And I, like, as much as this might seem like I'm showing off, I am. I'm not gonna show off about a lot of other things, but I'm going to show off about this. I am gifted in math. It's been like this for as long as I can remember, since I was four or five. I remember we moved, we moved when I was six, so it wouldn't have been then. Um, but yeah, I remember um, just being a monster in math, even, even way back then. Actually, in school, I got rejected for, um, for testing to be put into higher math classes. Why? 
because I didn't have return my homework. And like that, like think about that for a second. Even without homework, even without doing the work, I was still a beast in math and only math. I actually failed a lot of other subjects quite a few times. But in math, I was so good so effortlessly that I would just, like I would toy with the class. I would toy with the um, percentage grading system in math. Like like some like on some Ionokoji type, like I was I was really out here determining the percentage um, weights of individual tests and quizzes based on on the teacher going like okay tests are worth fifty percent quizzes are worth twenty percent homework is worth twenty percent midterm is five percent final is five percent and I would go in there and I'd be like well if I do this much homework and I get hundreds in all the tests then I could still pass the class. And I would literally do exactly that. I would pass every single math class, just barely, but I would make sure to do as little work as possible. And because I never actually got A's in my class, I'd get A's on all the tests. Um, but because I never got A's in the classes, they never, they didn't let me um, go into the uh, focus classes, which is what they called it in elementary school, uh, in, in Jackson Elementary. <laughs> But yeah, that was, that was really, really stupid. And this was, I was I'm nine years old at the time that I'm thinking about all this. This is fourth grade. And this is when I was really, really toying with the system. Like, they should have seen people like me coming and prepared for a contingency like this. But I, I just, I think they didn't care about the odd exception like me who wouldn't actually end up in those higher level math classes because everyone who had my math abilities was in those higher levels except for me but yeah there was this one incident in when i was nine years old that just made me stop caring altogether i've talked about it before though so i'm not really going to reiterate it here but um wait have i talked about it before I think I, I'll talk about it on a different day if I haven't. I need to go back and make a note if I've, if I've uh, talked about it or not. Hold on one sec. Let me make a note to check my, um, my clips. Okay, cool, I just made that note. But yeah, after um, after this whole incident, which I'll, I'll look for, if, if, I, if I've already talked about it, I'll put it in the description. But if I haven't, then I'll talk about it, and then I'll put it in the description once I've talked about it. Um, but actually, let me make a note of that too. So, okay, cool, cool, just made a note of it. But yeah, after this, um, this incident, I went on like a, like an absolute killing spree with, um, with like screwing with the school, even in elementary school, I would give all my teachers such a hard time, like every chance I got, I would troll the other classmates who took school seriously, all of which who now today have ended up working like shitty nine to five jobs because school did nothing for them. I, I tried to tell them, I tried to tell them that they were wasting their lives, their, their important years learning all this bullshit and they knew it. They knew it as well. They just didn't listen. They, they decided instead to listen to authority blindly. If, if the grading system is worthless, which it was in my case, because it was not reflective of my actual math abilities. If the grading system is worthless, the school is worthless. And if the school is worthless, then stop doing it. Stop bothering. Stop trying so hard. It's that simple. Put in the minimal amount of effort, because you get limited willpower. Put your, put your energy into something else that you know is going to be better. And that was something that I kind of knew before this, and according to my last... Um, 
thing that I talked about from when I was eight is something I always knew. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go down that route for people who are just watching this in a in a vacuum. But yeah, when I was nine years old, I really started to go hard in um changing the school system. It's a it's a mission that I'm still working on to this day. I got things in the works. But yeah, that all started fourth grade, nine years old at that incident. That was when I made my decision. That was also when I started tutoring kids, not just getting tutoring from older kids, which I'd, I'd gotten so much tutoring, but I've been getting tutored for my entire life, basically. And um, when I was nine years old, I started to tutor other kids in like writing and math and stuff, just like random, random and smiley kids and stuff like that. But there is more to this contribution. Um, like this is like an actual, actual contribution, but it has yet to be contributed, but just know like big plans in the future.